So, Dan, Josh, too, I kind of want to get your thoughts on this of what you, I guess, how the moon kind of pertains to deer, if you think it has any effect or if it's just kind of, you know, hoop ball or if it, you know, if there's something to it. Okay. Um, my opinion on that is that uh, the moon does have an effect. And I think that effect uh, is different in different areas. I've noticed that if I go into hill country of uh, Western Wisconsin uh, in low pressure, that the moon seems to have a big effect on them. If I'm hunting uh, moon overhead, I get a lot of movement, um, especially in rut. And uh, if I time my sits around that moon overhead, I seem to see more deer. And I did some studies on it when I was uh, hunting up there. And uh, it was interesting because I was seeing about 70% of the daytime movement within that window of the moon phase um, of, of overhead or straight underfoot, um, which I thought was pretty interesting. But when I get back home and I hunt around the swamps and heavy pressure near my house, um, I don't care what the moon's doing at noon, I ain't seeing a deer. I see them at dawn and dusk. And when I see them at dusk, I just, I see maybe a slight increase when it's moon overhead or underfoot. But I do notice that uh, moon o overhead or underfoot make a huge difference when I'm out shining or I'm out glassing or during the summertime. Um, so it has an impact, but I don't think that impact is 100%. It's, uh, you know, hit or miss. I got you. So let me ask this. Say this. This is the first summer that I've actually put thought into moon or moon positioning. I guess it is. Mm -hmm. There's a spot I can monitor this field all day long, and all the deer I see feeding are when the moon is directly underfoot. Mm -hmm. And it seems like no matter what that is, I don't know if there's a correlation with that. It, it's just because I want it to happen. You know what I mean? But it, it just, to me, it seems there's too much going on there. You know what I mean? As far as there's got to be something, something with that moon thing. I'm, I'm all new to it. So yeah, we've done studies with trail cameras there. too, and uh, it shows the same thing. I mean, it it would sh it would show uh, an increase in uh, in movement with mature deer. You know, in that in that moon phase time, but. For me, most of the time when it was uh, accurate was when that moon phase was in normal hunting hours. So say like the, when you get that moon underfoot or overhead, that last hour of daylight, that's a day you probably want to hunt in the evening. You know, but I don't know that you're going to get a mature buck to walk around at noon and go through his, you know, his pattern at noon because the moon's overhead, you know. Good question. That moon, moon is a hot topic for some people, man. Some people just... That's they they hunt by it, you know. Um, you've done more. You know when uh, you hunt the, when you hunt beds. I mean, I noticed that they come out a little earlier or something on the moon phases, but it really doesn't matter if the deer's bedded where it's supposed to be bedded, and it comes out. I'm usually within that window to kill it, anyways. Yeah. Whether it's, you know, twenty minutes after dark or twenty three minutes after dark, or I mean before dark, you know. Yeah. I, and I don't know, maybe I'm out of line for saying this, but a lot of the people that you hear talk really heavily about the moon, they seem to be more of those private land hunters that, yeah. you know, have real nice food plots and stuff. And yeah, but it probably makes a difference. Like, yeah, they probably come to those food plots earlier and stuff. I was kind um, of alluding to that when I said in the low pressure areas, I see a difference. Yeah. High pressure, I'm not, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I think if you can optimize your chances in any way marginally at all if you can figure something out i'd go for it you know um i'm not a guy though that, like i'm not hunting less the moon dry you know that's not right. my you, you know you know the way i look at it you, you know if you look at me i'm hunting every day i can so i mean yeah. it's almost every day of the season but what yeah. i'm doing is i'm looking at the advantages i have i might take the, i might look at that moon and say oh they're moving a little earlier because of the moon there's this one spot where I can only get like 125 yards from the bed. And it's kind of iffy if the deer will get that far. He might get that far on this day. You know, or yeah. when a cold front comes in. You know, or I'm looking at the wind because then, okay, now it's real windy. There's, you know, otherwise that deer would probably see me moving through that thick brush when I'm getting there because there's a little bit of a view from the bed. 
but with this wind and everything moving, I can slip in there on a windy day. Or there's another place where it's really loud, but I can get in there when it's raining because the leaves aren't going to crunch. You know, mm-hmm. um, so I'm always looking at the advantage and moon phase is just one more little advantage. It's not huge, not huge at all, but I do believe it makes a difference. I've seen evidence that it makes a difference. I've also seen studies that show it doesn't, but those studies I think are done on pressured areas. And, yeah. I, and yeah. I do think it makes a difference in different areas. You, you know what I mean? It depends on where you're at. I don't see much of a difference at all on moon phase, very little where I live. But when I went and did studies on it in the hill country where there's low pressure, yeah, it made a huge difference. So take it for what it's worth. Yeah. 